Hey guys, my name is Scoby and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to add this Xbox Series overlay to your OBS so you can really easily add it to your streams or recordings. Let's jump right into this. So just to make this method clear, I'm going to be doing this whole process on PC. I'm going to be connecting my controller to my PC. I'm going to be playing and streaming from my PC. If you'd like to watch my previous video where I show you how to connect your Xbox Series controller to your PC, I'll be leaving a card on screen so you can check that out. It's definitely something I'd recommend watching first. So what you're going to need to do is come to this link. Links is always in the description down below. And this is going to be for the JRAID website. This is going to be a cool little application we're going to be using. Once we come to this website, we're going to be coming to the left section right here. We're going to be looking for the free section, as you can see right here. We're going to be clicking this open and here we'll have a list of a bunch of different free applications we can use. What we're going to be doing is scrolling down here until we see the Xbox Series X. Simply click on it and here you'll be brought to a new screen where you'll be able to see this empty brand new Xbox Series X controller. Now from this point as long as your controller is fully connected to your PC and working any of the buttons you press should be represented on screen right now. As you can see as I move around anything even my sticks they will all show up here on top of this nice white background and everything works really really well here. From this point this controller is actually basically set up and ready to go. Now at the moment this is currently set up up as the player one controller so if you have more than one controller connected to your pc you might want to change this if you would like to change this all you need to do is come up to the top left here we're going to be clicking on the url and here you can see at the moment p equals one and that means we're currently set to player one if you'd like to change this to any other player you can change the number here to one two three four five etc you can feel free to change it to anything you want and it'll be set just like that what we're going to be doing to add this to obs is come up here and we're going to be copying this url from this controller path simply click Control c or right click and copy and then we're going to be going over and we're going to be opening up obs and we're going to be continuing from there so once your obs is open what we're going to be doing is coming to any scene you would like in this case i have two sources on my scene but i'm just going to be hiding them so it's not a distracting duplicated background right here and what we're going to be doing is coming to the sources for any scene you would like to add this to we're going to be clicking the plus button right here and we're going to be adding a new browser source as you can see i have this right here we're going to be selecting this open in this case i'm going to be creating a brand new one you can give this a name if you would like i'm going to be naming a controller xbox series once you have this here simply click ok and then our controller is going to be added from this point what we're going to need to do is change this url here what we're going to be doing is pasting in the url that we got from our web browser a few moments ago simply click Control and v to paste it in here most of these other things i'm going to be leaving by default the only other two things you really need to check are the width and the height and then if you need to you can add a custom frame right here now what i would recommend doing is setting both your width and your height to at least 1000 so we can show our full controller here but you can feel free to scale it in obs after but just setting it to a thousand should allow us to see our full controller inside here from this point we can simply click ok and it may take a couple seconds before your controller shows up here and once your controller shows up it will show up as an empty shell until you press anything on your controller and then your controller should come to an active state and as long as it was working fully in the browser before it should work fully here and just like that you'll be able to show your controller on screen inside obs now from this point you can feel free to add any other scenes or information to the background in this case if i add my display capture back on top i can feel free to put my controller wherever i want scale it using these red boxes and set it up however i want then inside obs now just to give a shout out to the creator that actually created these for free using the gamepad viewer websites it's jrd i'll be leaving some of his information linked down below also he does also do some custom things including branding animation stingers intros different things like that so if you want to reach out to him i'll be leaving his links in the description down below as it wasn't me that created this it was him just in case you want to check out any of his other stuff Anyway guys, it's as easy as that to add an Xbox One series controller on screen in OBS on your PC. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.